guys, Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. Um, one of my fur babies just popped up to say hello. Hi, Ladybug. Yes, I'm making a video. Can you tell them hello? Say hello. Okay, go play. Anyway. Very quickly, first I want to address this. Uh, Matt Man and I are perfectly healthy, happy and fine in our lovely marriage, but sometime over Christmas break, one of the prongs on my ring broke and I've taken off my ring to protect our family heirloom diamond until I, we can get it fixed. So in case any of you notice that I'm not wearing a wedding ring, it's just because the ring is broken. So, Moving forward, I have some amazing gifts here from you guys um, off of my Amazon wish list. Now, what I'm doing on my wish list right now um, is I have items on there that I am collecting because for my birthday, I want to have a packing party. So bring all my friends and mostly just family really <laughs> over to the house and pack as many boxes as we can. So I'm going to start doing um, little packets to get ready for that. Hygiene packets, pencil packs, kind of grouping together things for each age and gender group and getting ready. And I can't wait to kind of show you all of those videos as we get going. So I have some fun Amazon boxes to open here with you that I think probably have items for my birthday party in them. And then I have been watching you wonderful community on Facebook and on YouTube, just posting all of the great things that you're finding on after Christmas clearance. I've been snagging all of those up. Snacking? Snagging? I've been going shopping. <laughs> and picking up as many of those as I can find. And I do have some things to show you that I haven't really seen in any of those uh, places so to just show you some extra after we do this Amazon unboxing um, I am so excited to finally be back in the new year and kick things off and just Get going with OCC world um, at the end of showing everything I will give you guys a little life update. So if you're interested in that wait until the very end so Let's get going. I will say this box right here um, Matt opened <laughs> and I got home and I was like, what's that? And I peeked in and he's like, oh, I think it's OCC stuff. So I have peeked in it and I kind of know, I know who it's from and I kind of know what's in here. So this isn't a total unboxing, um, but it will be new to you. So let's see. Stuffing, always fun. And then these are so cute. Look at this fat stack of pencils. That is so many fun, colorful, pretty pencils. They are mostly in pastel. Let me open one and see if um, there are more packets, but I can get closer. Okay, so these are all kind of, um, can you see on there? They're like galaxies, like stars and astronauts and aliens. They do have a little bit of, um, I believe this is Chinese writing on there. So, but um, the great thing about these, these are from Lynette and she's put a little message in there that these are shorter than our American pencils. So they will fit in all of the little baggies that I get at Daiso, which is perfect for me. Um, and because they are not the American sized ones, I can use things from the Japanese dollar store and make even more pencil packs both for my birthday party and for um, sending in as filler. So thank you so much, Lynette. These are wonderful and amazing. And if I can find all of these things from Amazon, I will link them below so you can buy them for your boxes too. Um, there are 200 here, by the way, 200 pencils. Um, this, I have not seen this yet says this is a set do not separate we'll see we'll see what's in here uh oh i don't have my scissors close that could be a problemo 
Let's see if we can open it from this side. Perfect. I just opened it from the side and not the top. Oh, wonderful. That must be a note to Amazon because look, look what these are. Oh, they're pencil sharpeners. These are my favorite little pencil sharpeners. She must be watching or maybe they're her favorite too. Um, you can buy them on Amazon or Oriental Trading. They do have a cover to help keep little fingers safe. And I did a um, quick sharpener comparison um, and compared these to Fiskars. Ones you can get from um, Dollar Tree, ones you can get from Walmart, metal sharpeners. And these were the best quality for the price. Um, and so these are my favorite little sharpeners. I'll see if I can find that video and I will also link it below if you wanna see how the sharpeners did in that little comparison. Thank you, Lynette. These are so awesome. Lynette does so many pencil packs. Um, I follow her on Facebook and I watch all the fun, amazing things that she did. And then um, there is another gift in here, but it is a personal gift, so I will leave it in the box. But I want you to know, Lynette, I see it. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna do that very next after this. So thank you for that personal gift in there. And these amazing pencils and pencil sharpeners, they're gonna make great pencil packs for our 2023 season. Okay, let's see what this one is. I have not opened this. I do not know what's in here or who it is from. Let me see if there are some papers. Okay, um, from Ina, hi Ina. Um, <gasps> okay, she says she thought that this would make us smile. So let's see. I don't wanna say the other things in here because it'll give it away. All right, <gasps> oh, she's so pretty. Thank you, Ina, oh my goodness, I love her. Okay, she said she got this for a Noah's Ark themed box, and isn't that great? Because look at her little rainbow dress, and she comes with a pet. This is a perfect addition to any girl box, I love it, and plus, I love sending two Barbies at a time, so for size um, in the box, sending a big Barbie, and a Chelsea Barbie is my favorite way to do it. That way the little girl can play Barbies or share with a friend and they can play Barbies. I love sending too. So thank you so much, um, Ina. She also said that she has been praying for us and those prayers have been felt and are very appreciated from all of you, not just Ina, but thank you so much. That's such a thoughtful gift. I love gifts that are for other people. <laughs> I get to I get to steal the joy for a moment. Okay, and then this box is the last Amazon box that came. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It looks really cool in the box. I'm just gonna see if I can hold it up without everything falling out. Can you see all the pins? So many pins. Let's see who it's from. This is also from Ina. Thank you, Ina. Oh, she says, happy early birthday. Just like I thought, these are for my birthday. And um, we are gonna do the pencil packs together. She said she can't wait to see them. So here are some red pens, cause you have to have red pens for the teacher um, or for grading other students' papers. Here are some blue pens. I love these. And some black pens, very needed. Red, black, and blue are the colors I like to put in my box. I also like to include um, multicolored pens, so that's a fun way to do it too. Um, here are some Paper Mate erasers. Look at this. There are 12 erasers in here, I love it. These are great quality. I love the Paper Mate brand for um, these pink erasers, and I love the Bic brand for the quality of pen for the price. So these are, go-to's for me um, and then there is one more box let's see what this is <gasps> yay more Amazon basic pencils these are my favorite just yellow number two pencils for the price I think that these um, are the best quality for quantity so this I am well on my way to all of my amazing pencil packs 
not just for my personal boxes that we'll do here on the channel and my birthday boxes that we're gonna do with my family and pencil pack fillers. It's just gonna be a great year. I can feel it. I feel all the positive vibes. So let me scoot this box up here. And then I have my little empty bag set up over here that I'm gonna put all of these things in that I am about to show you. Um, the rest of this stuff is Christmas clearance. I know so many people have been doing so many great videos. I've been watching them. They've helped me spot things out in the wild, as I call it. So I'm, I try to pick apart my haul and only show the things that I feel like um, I haven't seen a lot of or to give tips on where to find them. So this is the first thing and a lot of these, these are from different hauls at different days. So some of them I've already taken out of the packaging and I'm sorry, my brain needs to get back in the OCC routine so that I can show you these items. But I did already take this out of its packaging. It was the 12 days of fish miss and I have seen these at several Walmarts still available because for some reason they are putting regular clearance stickers on them and they're not clearancing them down at the same rate as other Christmas items. I just took mine to customer service and I said, can I get this for the 90% off? And they did it. I only bought one box, but I wanna show you what all is in there to see if you think it's worth it to go back and get boxes for you, for your boxes, you know, so. Um, the, the idea behind it is that it's supposed to be like an advent calendar for fishermen and it's the 12 days of Fishmas and it's a blue box and up in the like right hand corner there's a circle and it says box number one, box number two. This is stuff from box number four. So I think that there probably are different things in the other three boxes. Let me show you. Um, first off, the first, the two big things are these two lures. This is a casting lure, um, so this I think is still very useful for a kiddo who would be fishing with a stick and just kind of chunking the lure in there and winding it up. So you do have to have a fancier fishing rod than just a stick and some fishing wire, is that what it's called? Oof. Um, this also is the same idea. It's a casting fish. So these casting lure, these are both for casting style fishing. Um, I do have a really cool fishing rod that was sent in from um, a viewer. And so I'm going to put these with that really cool fishing rod that does have a casting capability. Um, some of these other things will work just fine if you're going to do bob style fishing is what I call it, where you just have a stick and a line and you um, put the hook and the worm in the water. So for that style, um, actually this is still a spin bait, so this is still for casting lures. But the rest of these, um, these are worms, and these are brighter worms, <laughs> and these are more worms. So you get three types of gooey worms and three casting lures in that 12 days of fish miss. And then you get this, um, it's a, a jig. I'm not really sure what, a super jig. And these hooks. And then in the last spot, there are just some regular two fishing hooks and two stickers. So I got all of that for $2.50 because the original Fishmas box is um, $25. So for $2.50, I got all of these things. I think you do have to be careful because it is, most of these things are only good for, um, like I said, casting style fishing. Um, so that you can crank them back in so that they work well. So keep that in mind if you want to buy the 12 Days of Fishmas box. I'm glad I did. I do have the capability to send them in with a really cool fishing pole. So just FYI in case you're curious about that. The other thing that 
Um, I already took the pl like plastic packaging off the outside of these, but these, um, I've seen a lot of these at different stores because people aren't sure if they are counted as Christmas or not. They are um, Hallmark Mystery Ornaments. This one is the princess version. This one is the Marvel version. They also have a Harry Potter version and a Snoopy version, and I got one of each of those, but I will not use the Harry Potter one because it was the bad guy, his name is Voldemort, and he just was scary. So I will not use him. Uh, I gave him away to someone else, but all of the other ones that I've purchased, I will use. And I believe these ended up being like 75 cents each, somewhere around there for me, if they're still out there. This is what the little character looks like. I think it's great. It is not an eraser, but she has that same consistency feel. Um, so it is not breakable, it's not glass, it's not plastic, it's kind of like a rubber character, and I think that it's a perfect little toy. I'm considering very carefully um, removing this loop from each of the ornaments that I purchased, but this is the princess one, and this is Rapunzel. And then in the Marvel one, I believe this one is, yes, Spidey. So here is Spidey. Again, just really cute little figurine. I got a Snoopy one. I got a couple other Marvel ones. So those are pretty cool. And then also along the ornament idea, these are Hallmark ornaments and they are flat. And I found these specific ones in the card section. So they were not pulled over with the Christmas items, but they still rang up 90% off. Uh, they were originally $5, so I got these for 50 cents a piece. This is just a really sparkly, fun unicorn, and it is an ornament, and I'm gonna send it just like this because I think this is a fun decoration. I mean, me, myself, right now, I would hang this like from my car mirror as a full-grown adult. So there are definitely things that a child can do or decorate or play with this. Um, I also picked up a um, Star Wars one and a... <laughs> Mickey and a Minnie, aren't they just adorable? I love them. They had many other characters, but those were the ones that I had boxes for, so I picked those up. Also, ornament-wise, I picked up these. They are just like superhero sounds, like comic books. I think they're great. I think I could put them in just like this and let the child decide what they wanted to do with them but I've seen other YouTubers say that they could make necklaces out of these, or I might even include some magnet that they could put on the back of this if they wanted to use them as magnets. I just thought that they were really fun. Also, um, they would be great in pencil packs just to snazz up those really skinny pencil packs that we send in. So if you see these, I paid 26 cents for I think six of them. So. And the very last ornaments, not that I bought, but that I'm going to show you, I bought a lot of ornaments, was this packet right here. It is a four piece of ornament um, and it was originally $11. So if you find it now, it would just be like $1.10. I got it when it was 75% off. So what I paid like $2.50 for these four ornaments. And I think that they are adorable. There is a cute mermaid and if these don't go in an actual box um, these are great for pencil packs so this really cute mermaid um, by the way these are all from Walmart all of all the stuff I got it's the only place I really went here is a whale with a little crown on so cute I love the little whale and then here is a seahorse isn't he pretty? I love it. So cute. These little stuffies. And then lastly is King Trident himself, a merman. So those are the four ornaments that I got for $2.50, but now they would just be a dollar for four of them, making them 25 cents a piece. Excellent. I love it. Um, that's it for ornaments. Um, and that was just my pro tip on where to find some things that I hadn't seen other people share. I also picked up these Centos 
So I believe that if workers see these out now, that they probably would return them to the Valentine section that have Cento's markers just like this, except the Valentine ones have hearts around them. So if you see the ones with the like blue snow, these are Christmas and they will be 30 cents right now. Pro tip, pro tip. Um, and then I have seen someone show one of these, but not all of them. These are the Claire's um, Mickey necklaces. They do light up. I think they are adorable. There is a Minnie Mouse one and a Mickey Mouse one, and they still have this little tab in here. So you would have to pull out the tab before the batteries start to run down. I love that. That means this is going to get to the kiddo with a full charge. And then in that same vein, these were $6 and they are just miniature Mickey and Minnie Christmas lights with, then they're battery operated. So I would just include some batteries with this kit and send this in for someone to decorate their space with. I love it, so cute. Um, also lights that I found, I got these when they were 75% off, so I paid a quarter for them. But again, they're just really cute lights that you can decorate your space with. They're battery operated. I will include the batteries to go with these. And now if you see them, they would be 10 cents. So be on the lookout for these. I actually found them hanging on a end cap. So that's where I found these. Um, these are also on Christmas clearance. And this one was obvious to me because it was that red and green color, but they had other standard colors, yellow, orange, blue, and red. And the way that you can tell that they are on clearance right now is this, this little marker right there. Um, so this is a bubble fidget ball. Be on the lookout for these just in the wrong place throughout your store. I also, same thing, got this activity roll here. It is six feet long, um, full of coloring images. Here is what the actual activity roll looks like and it has that same $3 marker there. So this should be ringing up about 30 cents if you see these in your store. Also, I haven't seen these. I only saw this in one of my Walmarts and only this one cup, but I thought I would show it because I haven't seen anyone else haul it. So be on the lookout for these adorable sipper cups. Um, here is the bottom What the barcode looks like if you were on the lookout. Another really fun thing that I think people might not realize are Christmas and are on clearance are these cozy socks. They look very similar to the ones that you can get at Dollar Tree, but this is what the tag looks like. So if you see these over in the accessories area, kind of like by the jewelry or the backpacks or the purses, um, this tag is running Christmas clearance. So be on the lookout. They also have gloves and hats in this same brand. And this is what the cozy socks look like, Christmas clearance. They, um, again, have that really noticeable blue marker here. They were originally $3, so I got these for 30 cents. Also, a fun thing is this. It looks kind of crazy right now, but it does go on my wrist and it is basically a hair tie. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna send it in with all of my frozen boxes as a hair accessory, um, but it is technically a pet necklace, which is weird to me. I've never heard of that, but it is pet neckwear. And this is what the back of the tag looks like. I'm sending it in as a hair tie in my frozen boxes. I think it's brilliant and beautiful. So be on the lookout for these. They should be about 30 cents right now. They also have a red and green version of this. Um, I did find a few ugh, Christmas crafts. I just wanna show them to you really quick so you can be on the lookout for them. This is a scratch art ornament. Um, and I got two of those. And this is a charm and bead kit. It does end up making three um, bracelets. 
Again, these are gonna be great for my frozen boxes. Here's what the tag looks like on both of those. So this one comes with four. Um, these ones I will probably break up and put in pencil packs. These ones will go into frozen boxes. Let's see what they look like. I haven't even opened them yet. So they aren't individually packaged, uh, but it is enough to make three bracelets. I don't know, I might send it all in one frozen box just as it is as a bracelet kit. So in case you're curious, that's what that looks like. And then also be on the lookout for this type of packaging for Christmas crafts. I just got these yesterday, so they're still out there. Um, they were originally $3. My tip for craft kits like this is just make sure that it doesn't require, there were several other ones that I left there because it required hot gluing things together and I just didn't want to send something to a kid that they wouldn't be able to utilize. Also, they had other ones that had pots of paint in them. We can't send those in, so I just avoided those. And then they had other ones that required just regular Elmer's liquid glue. And since we can't send that in either, I left those on the shelf. But these ones just seem like they have everything you need in them. So I picked up these two craft kits to send in probably as filler for next year. And then the last thing is this embroidery kit. I think it is adorable. It ended up being 50 cents and it's big and bulky, but once you take everything out, like it doesn't take up much space at all. Just this embroidery hoop, um, this pre-printed embroidery fabric, I guess. And then it does come with embroidery needles and all of the thread that you need. So, um, I think this is great. And if I find some other kits that I can send with it throughout the year so that she can reuse the ring, I think that is a great idea. Those are all of the craft kits that I saw. And then I wanted to bring to everyone's attention some interesting coloring books that I found. Um, this one, these were all three in the magazine area. So for me, in most of my Walmarts, that is in the back, near the electronics or the dog food, but definitely by the back bathrooms, if you're familiar with the setup of Walmart. Um, they kind of have things in different places in different stores, but those areas are typically in the same place-ish. Wherever you buy books and magazines, that's where I found these not in on the craft aisle with the other coloring books and not up front with the Christmas items and not by the like Hallmark card section. Ugh. Anyway, this one is called Christmas Coloring and it is an adult coloring book. Um, I did take this one up to customer service because it was still ringing up for 9.95 there's the price right there and they just gave it to me for a dollar they corrected it up at customer service but that's what this one looks like in the magazine section um also this one was in the magazine section called mystery colors and it was originally also 9.95 which is weird because it was ringing up 12.95 so okay <laughs> Um, here is what it looks like it is very detailed coloring by number so definitely for an older kiddo and then down here is the number and the color associated with it so I would send this book in with a nice big set of colored pencils and then the last coloring book coloring book that was in the magazine section is this beautiful Christmas puzzle deluxe by highlights here are some of their other items. And I did see some of these, but I didn't pick them up. I wish I would have. I might go back and see if they're still there. Um, but this was ringing up for $1.30. And inside here, it is a whole bunch of very colorful. The best part of the highlights magazine to me was always the puzzles. So this is just a whole book of fun kid puzzles and a few drawing and coloring pages scattered throughout. So see here, 
Um, anyway, those are all in the magazine section. So that's my pro tip for those. And then these, oh, there was one more thing. One more thing in the Christmas section, and I already took it out of the package, I'm sorry, but it was just netting. It was just netted and it had a tag on top. It is a dog toy, but I am okay with that because they're just tennis balls. So there were three of them together, originally $5. I got them for 50 cents. Um, here is, this one does have a paw on it, but that's okay. I can send this in with a Paw Patrol um, box. I can send this in with a firefighter box and some Dalmatians. This works for anything. Just because it has a paw on it doesn't mean it's a dog toy. This one has a Christmas tree and this one has a reindeer. So all three of these balls for 50 cents, great. And that is the last of the Christmas clearance. Um, I do wanna show you a few more things that I did find in regular clearance. This um, pencil bag, I love it. I love finding fun soccer things for my older boy boxes. These were on clearance for $1. Um, these were also on clearance for $1. These Spark Imagination Balls. They had basketballs and baseballs and soccer balls. So um, I picked up all of the baseballs and all of the soccer balls and I left basketball. And I think this set probably also comes with footballs but they were all already gone. And then the last two things are regular clearance and they are both Black Panther items. Um, this one is a really fun color and sticker activity kit. It comes with those five crayons right there. And then if you open it up, and the inside where you access the crayons, there are stickers. And then in here, it's kind of taped up right now so you can't see it, but most of this, most of this is blank paper for drawing and coloring. I love when you find blank papers, but there are a few pages in here that are coloring book style. I double checked them. None of them are too violent. They're just images of characters and then places to put these stickers that come with it. And I got this in the clearance section for $1. I'm very happy with that. And then I did also pick up these bath play set, um, which basically they're just characters all of the black panther characters and then down here you can see it comes with a net and a bath crayon all for one dollar so that's it that is all of the fun thing not all of the fun things but um a lot of the things that i hadn't seen other people talk about or some tips or where i found things that maybe other people um haven't thought to look yet so i hope that you guys enjoyed looking at all of these things with me. Let me know if there are things that you will pick up or that you'll be on the lookout for. And that is it for my amazing birthday gifts and Christmas clearance 90% off haul. If that's all you're here for, thank you for coming. We had fun together. And if you want a life update, I'm gonna talk about that right now. So, um, the last time that I saw you guys was December 28th. And I remember it very specifically. I was just kind of letting you know where my family was at with my grandma. And she did end up passing away that night. Sorry, my kitty knocked off something off the counter. She's being naughty. <laughs> but my grandma um, ended up passing away later that evening. So that's why I haven't been around. Um, that was the hardest day for me, really. Um, the hospice providers were amazing. They came quickly and they stayed with us for the three hours um, that it took for everything to get lined up um, before the funeral home could come and take her away. That was the ultimate hardest moment for me. Um, I knew and I know um, because of our faith and because of our belief system, she was already um, gone. She wasn't there. As my grandpa said, like she parked her car and got out. <laughs> so, um, but still just the thought of her 
being taken away from us was very difficult for me. And um, that evening was my hardest grieving moment. Um, so I'm really grateful that I got to have a moment of joy with you guys earlier that day to kind of clear my head. And I think it was just therapeutic and I needed it before that evening started. Um, but then after that, we started all of her funeral planning process. And guys, uh, planning a funeral is like planning a wedding, but they're um, like when, with a wedding, the bride is like, whatever I want goes. And with a funeral, it's the opposite. Like the person who's being honored isn't there to, to say their wishes. And so the whole family is like, well, maybe she would want this and maybe she would want that. But there's so many little details. Um, and, you know, like getting the right flowers and picking the right song and finding all the right photos. And since um, she chose cremation, there was not going to be a viewing or a casket. So we chose to have a big memorial table. So we had to like, how do you display a life in items. So we had to like think about the different seasons of her life and where she grew up and um, all the things she loved to do and figure out a way to display that on a table in a beautiful way and it was really nice. Um, her favorite color was green and her favorite animal was a cardinal, which is really sweet, especially around Christmas time. So it was um, a lovely setup. We had things, she grew up on a ranch in New Mexico, so we had a lot of ranch things and she loved cooking, so we had like cast iron skillets. She was an avid golfer, so we had like golf balls and tees and she loved bowling, so we had all of her bowling pins, not the bowling pins that you knock down, but um, in bowling leagues, if you hit certain scores, they give you like a reward pin. So we had all of her bowling pins set out and um, the town that they grew up in was such a big part of her life. Um, she was born there, raised there, met my grandpa there. Um, she graduated high school, a week later turned 18 and a day later got married and so um, who she was was so much wrapped up in the identity of that town all of her siblings went to school there and all of their kids um, each of them had two kids all of them went to high school in this town so it was like a big part of even my life growing up because of how much of my family lived there and grew up there and um, their uh, mascot, they were red cardinals. So another reason why cardinals were her favorite animal. And we had like her high school yearbook and all of her little cardinal figurines and we had angels. And I think a really big defining moment in her life was when her and my grandpa got to take a trip to the Holy Land like in 2013, I think. So not too long ago, 10 years ago. And um, so we got to display a um, manger scene that they bought in Bethlehem. So there just were so many things that defined these big moments in her life and her love for serving and cooking and, and going to all of the sporting events and supporting her family. And she definitely was um, the, the oldest. <laughs> And then my mom is the oldest and then I am the oldest. So there's very much um, who she is is in my mom. And then who I am is, you know, who she, it's just, we're all very, very connected and very close and have a lot of the similar traits. And I um, was so honored to get to be a part of her life and to be there in these in her last few days and just love on her and um, I do miss her and it's the little things that we miss and it'll be the little things um, like when we went when we go to restaurants and I say four please and it's only three now type thing and um, just little things like that that still get me um, even though I think 
I'm so grateful for all of your prayers. I know they've helped. I know that um, it was a very smooth passing. I know a lot of times that passing can cause friction in families or arguments or discussions over this or that, and there was very little of that. And the tiny things that happened, it's just because our emotions were heightened and they were immediately oopsies and forgiven. And it just was a wonderful time to be with my family and thank you for your prayers because I know that they helped so much. I'm very grateful that I did most of my grieving while she was here with us. And the hardest of that grieving was the day that she passed. And since then, I have just been in a healing journey. And I'm so happy that it was um, as healthy for me as possible. So again, I think that that is attributed to all of your prayers. And I have chatted on for way too long. I've missed you guys. We're gonna get back into the swing of things. I know that Matt Man wants to do the first unboxing of 2023. So be looking for that. Hopefully this weekend is when we will have some time to get that all put together for you guys. Um, that's it for today. Thanks again for everything that you've done for me and my family over this very difficult time. So that's it. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye friends.